Welcome to VetMed 529A, Aquaculture and Aquatic Animal Medicine. Today, we will be having a dissection, specifically of the species Oreochromis niloticus. Introduction What is tilapia? Tilapia refers to several species of mostly freshwater fish that belong to childhood family. Although, wild tilapia are native to Africa, the fish has been introduced throughout the world and it is now farmed over 135 countries. Nile tilapia or the Oreochromis niloticus is one of the most farmed tilapia species due to its rapid growth rate and ability to adopt a wide range of environmental conditions. Tilapia are native only to Africa, and many U.S. states consider them as invasive or non-indigenous species. Tilapia have been introduced around the world into fresh and brackish waters. Tilapia has a flat body. They are covered in smooth scales and come in various colors ranging from gray to reddish brown. Tilapia also have a prominent fins, particularly in their back and tail. Tilapia fish are also known for their high reproductive rate and rapid growth. Make sure to have the following supplies. Latex gloves, goggles, scalpel, scissors, forceps, and probe. Today, we will be dissecting the fish, tilapia. As we proceed with the dissection, please refer to this diagram as a reference. The first step is to assess the specimen in situ without cutting the carcass. By doing this, signs of abnormalities can be observed. From close up, the actual physical manipulation and examination of the various organ systems commences. In the external examination, it is important to be oriented with the positioning of the specimen. The anterior, posterior, dorsal, and ventral positioning along with the external parts of the specimen should be familiarized. Let us locate and discuss the external parts of tilapia. The body has a rounded head and a trunk which tapers to the tail. This gives the fish a streamlined shape which enable it to move smoothly through the water. The skin. The skin is covered with flattened, discoid overlapping scales. It has a terminal mouth and small sharp teeth. The pair of nostrils above the mouth help the fish to smell food. It plays no part in breathing. It has the upper culum or the gill cover at each side of the head, which gives covers to the gills. It plays an important part in breathing mechanism. Let's proceed to the different parts of the eye. As adults, Naltilapia have prominent laterally placed eyes. The pupil is dark in color and it is outlined by a ring of orange iridial pigmentation. The axial diameter of the eyeball is shorter than the dorsoventral and equatorial diameters. The cornea and the anterior chamber are thin, and the lateral surface of the cornea appears flattened relative to the medial surface, very similar in terms of the ocular dimensions and proportions to that of the other fishes, including the gelids. Let's proceed to the internal examination of the specimen. First, make an incision along the dorsal side of the fish no higher than the lateral line. Most of the organs resides in the ventral half of the body, so be careful not to cut too deeply. 
Using a scalpel, make an incision towards the head. The second incision should be given on the ventral surface just forward of the anus. Upon reaching the gills, cut upward behind the gills. This will complete the third incision. Lastly, finish the process by making a fourth incision. Very carefully lift away the cotted section of the body wall. Using a scissor, remove any membranes that adhere to the body wall. If the body organs are covered with fat, forceps can be used to remove this material. After the removal of the body wall and the membranes, internal organs can now be located and identified. To identify the digestive system, find the tan-colored liver with the gallbladder attached to and underneath the liver. Cut the liver free from the body to expose the esophagus and stomach. Then trace a route. A piece of food would travel as it passes through the fish's digestive system. Find the mouth, pharynx, esophagus, pyloric seca, stomach, intestines, and anus. To aid in locating other organs, remove the entire digestive canal by cutting it free to the anus and at the mouth. To locate the reproductive system, determining can be done by locating either a pair of testes, which is a small pale yellow mass on the ventral side, or a single large yellow ovary filled with eggs. The testes and ovaries are connected by tubes to the urogenital opening found posterior to the anus. Respiratory and excretory system. Locate and remove the bright white, gas-filled swim bladder in the dorsal portion of the fish. On the dorsal wall of the body cavity, locate the kidneys. The kidneys are connected by urinary ducts to a urinary bladder from which waste pass out of the body through the urogenital opening. Lastly, we have the circulatory system. Cut through the fish's body anterior to where the liver was located. Doing this exposes a cavity where the heart is suspended. Find one thin-walled atrium and the one thicker-walled muscular ventricle. You may be able to locate one enlarged vein, the sinus venosus, where blood enters the heart, and one enlarged artery, which is the bubus arteriosus, where the blood leaves the heart. 
The blood leaving the heart goes to the gills where it flows through capillaries in the gills and throughout the body in various veins and capillaries and arteries and finally returns to the heart to be pumped throughout the body again. This concludes our video. Thank you so much for listening.